I think the business is known for providing quality materials at a great service. Um, we're known for being involved in the community. There's a lot of old homes in Baton Rouge, right? And if you need the old part or piece or something odd or unique, you always come see us at homes. When you have disasters, when you, I mean, Lord knows the, the Gulf South has had that, right? Whether it's hurricanes or flooding or shootings or, or whatnot, everyone comes together as a community and we've done a really good job with that. So we had about half of our team that was directly affected by the flood and anywhere from a loan to materials to anything that we could do to try to help our team. That's not just our team, that's the Baton Rouge community is what that, you know, the Cajun Navy, everybody made, you know, that made headlines, which was awesome, but that happened in every neighborhood. That happened for months and months when there was no more water, uh, there was no residual really, but it was still happening. It was a Friday morning, I, I just went to work didn't pay no attention until when I got home, everything was normal. I woke up Saturday morning and like, whoa, you couldn't even get to the mailbox. So then when I feel it, really realized what was going on when I seen the boat passing in front of the house. So, you know, uh, cranked the truck up, did the truck room, told her to go pack a bag. So we got to surface, got to the fam some of the family members, they, you know, they took us in to get your thoughts together and everything so so you know day by day you, you worry about how your house gonna look but you can't go back there because they done barricaded everything so when they did let the water go down they go back to find out what, was, what kind of damage you had like atomic bomb or something that was dropped on you like everything on the side of the road like wow my boss the owner he stepped up threw his heart out for all the employees well, it's like a relief because I know I got somebody that's looking at me and caring about what I got to go through. So the, the rain started, everybody was, we were concerned really more about business than anything else. And then uh, got home to my parents' house. Everybody was asleep, everything was fine. My dad heard a car horn going off about 5 a.m. Went out and the water was about two feet from the house. Started a pot of coffee, went outside again and it was at the doorstep. So they, they were able to get through uh, the water and get out and come to my house. Knowing a lot about hardware and, and, how, and DIY things, you think that you're prepared, you can do all these things pretty easily, but it's, it's not the same when it's, when it's your own tragedy. John and Matthew, they're all, they all came by. Everybody came to, to help and it was, um, it was powerful. People that your friends work friends with just kind of associates more or less and then they just show up and they're sweating and they're bleeding and they're, you know, they're buying you food and it's just it was an amazing feeling. With a flood customer or any other customer that we have now that, that's dealing with that, it, it's, there's more of a connection. It's an emotional connection because I understand what you went through. And, um, it's, it's as important to us for you to get it right as it is to you. We've been through a lot uh, in Baton Rouge um, on a social level. A lot of bad things have happened here. And none of that mattered. It was everybody worked together. All the guys that work here, I mean, you had a broad range of people that worked for us, and everybody came together and took care of each other. And that was pretty amazing. Uh, but more than anything, when times are tough, it comes together. And that's the biggest thing. It's, it's uh, cool about Baton Rouge.